you know what? I hadn't even planned on making this video, but here I am anyway. Because this that's come through the post this morning has just really annoyed me. To put this into context for you, um, I purchased this Braun watch probably eight months ago, six months ago, something like that, because I thought it looked nice. I bought this one used on eBay because basically I couldn't afford a new one at the time. And overall, I thought the watch was okay. It's got quite a unique appearance, which I like, but mainly I haven't worn it because of one thing, the second hand, which is just consistently missing the second marker over and over and over again. It can go for hours and not hit a single second marker, which is just something really little, but really, really annoying that's made me not want to wear this watch. And a few of you have been asking me about this brand recently, wanting me to make a review on it basically. And I thought, you know what, given my history with this brand with consumer electronics, which I've had generally good experience, why don't we give them a second chance? Let's see if they can do better. Maybe this is just a, a one-off that just isn't hitting the second mark as well. And as such, I went on Amazon, uh, it turned out that some of these Bourne watches were on sale at the time, which was pretty neat. And there was some other designs on there that were more to my taste and recently I've just had a little bit more cash to play around with. So I could actually buy the one that I wanted to and I saw one that looked amazing on the website, 38 millimeters, which is great for my wrist. A proper beautifully designed case. So I thought, you know what? Let's give that a try. If that turns out better, then maybe that'll be more suitable for the review. So about 20 minutes ago, I get a knock on the door. Amazon man's here. They delivered my new Braun watch. Luckily for me, this only cost me about 60 quid, but it will be going back. I open up the watch, look at it, and immediately I'm drawn to how attractive the watch is. In fact, this is probably the nicest looking watch at this price point that I think I've ever seen, especially considering I only spent 60 pounds on it at the time. The case design, especially the, the nice curvature of the lugs, it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the look, but then look at the second hand again. And again, it's the same bloody issue. I don't even need to take the sticker off the top to see that, that second hand is just missing the markers again and again and again and again, just the same as the old one. And that's because this brand have cheapened out and while the design looks great, they've just slapped a cheap ass shit Chinese movement inside them. And it's just so frustrating and it's gotta be costing them sales because as attractive as the design is, you know, I'm not gonna wear something that's just consistently missing the second markers again and again and again. This watch comfortably retails for over 100 pounds on the Braun website, yet the second hand is worse than my Timex Fairfield, which cost me 40 quid. At least that one hits the second markers probably about 70 to 80% of the time. With this Braun and with the previous Braun too, it's literally 0% of the time. And this is from a seller with 100% positive ratings. And I'm not sure it's their issue or Amazon's issue really. I think this is on Braun's end. And a secondary, also equally a stupid thing with this watch is the fact that it simply does not fit. Reading online that this was 38 millimeters, I had high hopes that this would fit me even better than the last one, which was okay, but not perfect. The big problem that I instantly noticed with this one is that the firmness and the lack of flexibility in the strap means that it simply just doesn't wrap around my wrist properly. Even if you were to adjust this for as tight as possible, the firmness of the area around the lug simply means that it just doesn't sit on my wrist at all. There's a ton of baggy space. So unless I go for a super tiny women's watch, this is just never gonna fit at all. And the shape and angle at which it goes round mean that this probably wouldn't fit most guys. Another bewildering, dumb decision. And the reason I'm making this video is because, frankly, I am so frustrated. Because in terms of the material quality itself, it actually feels better than I expected. And design-wise, this one looks great in person, but then they've completely ruined it. They've slapped a super cheap movement inside this that is just completely inconsistent. And they've paired it with a strap that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. All in the name of cutting down costs, I imagine, to increase profits more. And watches like these are hurting this brand name completely. Years ago, these were obviously all made in Germany, but now to offer them at this sort of cost, they've just shipped them out to, to China, which is where I imagine these are made. And wherever they're being made in China and whatever movement they're slapping inside, frankly, it's just not good enough. Even for this price, you know, I'd expect this performance from uh, a 30 pound watch, uh, especially with this movement at least. Imagine if they just made some slightly better decisions with this watch. If they put a better quartz movement inside because loads of good quartz movements are available for really cheap anyway. 
And imagine if you put that with a strap that actually made sense and just bent a normal amount, so they actually fitted people's wrists properly, they'd be onto a massive winner here because this watch looks phenomenal. It looks way better than loads of these fashion watches out there in the moment. They would destroy it, but they've just blew it in my mind. Even that MVMT watch, as terrible as they are, hits the second markers more consistently than this one. Braun, you really need to sort your shit out. Otherwise people are just gonna completely stop buying these. They're already getting mixed reviews online. And these watches, they're just gonna be dead in a couple of years. There's too many better options out there at the moment and you're not keeping up. And whoever the parent brand is, stop cutting costs because eventually, you know, you're losing any sort of value proposition with this. It's almost like a shallow experience now with it, how it is. Whoever's in charge of this mess, get in touch with me and I'll sort this out for you. So yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe I've just been incredibly unlucky and this is just the exact same issues on two different watches from them, but I suspect otherwise. Have you tried these watches before? What have you thought of them? Should I give them one more chance? Because I'm sending this one back. Um, but for the moment, I'd say, if you're looking at one of these, hang fire. Really disappointed because it's, it's so close to, to greatness. Never mind, um, I'm gonna be sending this shit back to China. I'll see you in the next one.